Greetings, family. This is the Master Headhunter. I hope that everybody's in well and great standing when this video reaches you for the second time today, right? Anyway, <clears throat> uh, what I want to talk about in this video is I've said it before many times. Um, being an individual is very important because it sets you apart. It sets you apart from everyone else. One thing I do notice in this day and age that we live in, um, the entertainment age, the information age, whatever you want to call it, everybody's so technical now. Follow me on Facebook. If you follow me on Twitter, if you follow me on Tumblr, if you follow me here, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. It's like ring around the rosy and shit. You know what I mean? And it, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like every video. Okay, I, like I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna say something. All right. <laughs> anyway, I watch um hair videos, makeup videos, you know. Other type of videos, but what gets me is really with the hair and the makeup videos is everybody does the same type of video, you know, they're using the same music. Everybody uses the same software. I mean, it just everybody does the exact same thing. And and one thing that bothers me is where is individualism? It's okay for me to me be me, and I'm okay with that, you know. I don't like my braids looking all extra neat. You know why? Because I like the messy look. I don't mind, you know, like if my real hair is showing because I have naturally curly hair. I'm not going to do everything I can to conceal that. I just want my hair tucked away so I won't be playing all in it because I'm always playing. And I love my hair is growing and I be playing in it. So to keep me from playing in it, I do protective styles so I can keep it tucked away so I won't be playing in it. Okay? So, what gets me is everybody uses the exact same music. You cannot tell me, excuse me, you can't tell me that everybody likes the same music. You cannot tell me that unless we have been programmed to. Um, you can't tell me that everyone, I mean, everybody's wearing the same clothing, the same hairstyles and if you don't wear what they wear or use the same type of music that they do if you don't do this and if you don't edit your videos that way and if you don't do that you're boring and you're this and you're that where is being an individual what is going on it doesn't make sense you know it's just like we're religion it's the same thing <clears throat> it's just like a spirituality it's the same thing if i come on here and tell what has been shared with me spiritually. Why in the world? If y'all hear hissing, that's my cats. Because two female cats in the same house don't work, okay? And you, what was I talking to folks, Patricia? That's what I hate when I do that, right? Gosh. Anyway. You guys, the, 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 the more I get older, y'all see them freckles and moles coming up on my face? I don't mind. I love being beautiful, so I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Y'all see these cheekbones? Like, oh, uh, do I, I got to, you know, I got to get rid of some unwanted fat, you know. But I think I look pretty good to have grown children. I have a 20-year-old, an 18-year-old, and a 14-year-old, so I think I look great. Okay, but anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about. Being an individual. Um, if I don't do what you do, don't come on here and ridicule what I do. You know, because that's my God-given right to be myself. I don't have to be like anybody else. I can be me, and that is grand because that's what I'm supposed to be. What gets me is I know this comments. I've done it before, but I'm learning. It's comments where I don't do it very often because I don't believe in hurting people, you know. But you do find comments where people will say, oh, well, that's old. Nobody wears that anymore. I'm like, okay. And then this girl, this younger girl, commented on, I guess, the the connect line hair, the braids that I was taking down or showing you can straighten out or whatever. She's going to say, oh, you ratchet. I said, oh, my God, this is a child, you know. I don't forget what I said to her. But I didn't, you know, cuss at her or nothing like that. I just, I, what did I say? 
I said, I guess that would, you know, be coming from somebody who has a name of uh, twerking, something, something with her name. Oh, she got mad and called me all out my name and everything. I'm probably old enough to be her mama, right? I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> let me do me. Why do I have to come on here? And I don't. Why do y'all expect everybody to come on here and be like y'all? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What world... This is really getting on my nerve, guys. It keeps falling in my face. But what world do you guys live in that everybody has to be like you? It couldn't be planet Earth. It, it, it just... What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm, I'm wigging out over here, okay? It, it couldn't be planet Earth. Yeah, I got me. I see my little fly wave. It happens. Anyway, it couldn't be fun on Earth because um, nobody's supposed to be alike here. You know, that's the point of so much diversity. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, nobody has to do nothing the same way. I don't have to do my video the way you do yours. I don't have to wear the same type of clothes, shoes, hair, none of that. Be me. And then what gets me is we do have a lot of man-made rules. Man-made. Men. Men telling women what they can and cannot do. What? <laughs> Come on now. We all know. Men know that it's their time is over. It's the time of the female again. And men do not like it. Let's just keep it real. Men don't like it. Not all of them. But y'all don't like it. Your time is over. It's just like on the movie Underwear. It's Marcus' turn to rule. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Your turn is over. You fucked up. Let it go. It happens. <laughs> Men always telling women what they shouldn't be doing. Are you serious? You know? Like, I was watching that Tyler Perry play, and he's talking about, you know, with, with the movie, and he's like, well, put your business out for 15 more years. Nigga, why you doing yours? I'm supposed to put mine out 15 years? You must be out of your goddamn mind. And in the end, the woman ends up getting AIDS, and she's living alone, all fucked up, but she got Jesus. You see, that's what gets me about the Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> Fucks me up, right? But, it doesn't have to be that way. Excuse me. Like I said, I didn't finish talking because I'd be all over the place, you guys. I, my story ended, began pretty rocky. You know? I didn't get AIDS. I didn't get hurt beyond repair. I'm sitting here in front of you guys today. And... I will be 37, I'll be here 37 years in May, May the 2nd, to be exact. I have a husband that is 17 years older than me. He's 53, and he spoils me rotten, he loves me, he takes good care of me, he's there for me, you know, he's there for my daughter, he takes good care of my daughter. What else, my story didn't end up too bad. Why you don't write them kind of stories, Tyler Perry? Huh? <laughs> because I'm way better today than I was yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't know if I was going to be living today. I had so much sex. You know, I didn't know if I was going to be around. You know? It's crazy because I experienced that wild stuff when I was young. To where I don't want that. I'm tired of that life. I, mm -mm. And I'm still young. You know, when I'm 40, all my children will be gone out the house. You know, and I'm learning how to live, you know. I'm learning how to live because I had to be responsible and be an adult at an early age. So, I'm learning how to live and have fun and all that good stuff, you know. And as always, I say thank you for some of you out here that make videos. 
because you have been very inspirational. Some of you guys were very damaging, but a lot of you were very inspirational. <laughs> so I say thank you. And I have to even say thank you for the ones who was damaging because it's taught me so much, you know. Would I want to go through that again? No, but I'm myself and I love it. And I don't have to worry about being afraid anymore of what somebody's going to think. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, you know what? I've been at this. I've been at this since I got married. And it's called the Musical Body Vitalizer. And I don't know, it's a man. I like the part where he's not talking, you know, where the music is just going and vibrating. I was in a very bad mood the other day. And um, my husband, I'll take his work van, you know, most of the time. Especially if I don't feel like pulling my car out the garage. And um, I put this in there because I don't have a CD player. I have a CD player, but it doesn't work. And, um, yeah, so I put this in and let it play. And I put it on space and it was a little loud. Not real loud, but it was loud enough. And, oh, it was so relaxing, you guys. I just felt my body just. And I had to be careful because I was driving. <laughs> uh, and I was going to race down, right? But, um, you guys, I, um, oh, I love it. It was so relaxing. It was really relaxing. And I got that from the half price bookstore. I haven't been in a while. And I feel kind of, I want to go. So, yeah. You know, I decided to paint my toes, you guys. And I decided to do my hair. Because I'm a lady. And I like girly stuff. And I don't like looking like, uh, I just, mm -mm. plain Jane ain't for me. <laughs> but. I'm going to get out of here, guys, because I thought I had a lot to talk about, and I really don't. So, I'm going to get out of here. I don't know what this video is going to look like, but I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to get ready to start my day. i got to go take a shower and get ready. And I'm going to do some videos, and I'm going to do some editing of some videos. Look at my cat, one of my cats. She's so, such a cat. So lazy that she eats and sleep. Look at her. I had to take her to the vet. She cut her nose on some guy. She was bleeding. I thought the other cat had jumped on her. <laughs> she was hissing at her. It was crazy. But I think she poked her nose on something downstairs in the basement. So I'm keeping them up here. They get into everything when I put them downstairs, you know. But anyway, much love, you guys. Peace. And I will see you on my next. Later.